am going to show you exactly how you can create this slide to reveal or crop reveal effect in Premiere Pro. This should take you just about five minutes to create and you can use this either as a transition or an end scene in any content you create. But I think it may work more for food and beverage or fashion content. Now without talking much, let's jump right into it. To start, you are going to need a higher resolution footage. We will be editing in a full HD sequence so you need a 4K footage at least. This will give you the flexibility to crop and scale without loss in resolution or any form of pixelation. I am going to use this footage here from Motion Array. I will link it in the description in case any of you need it to follow along with the tutorial. Now go ahead and import the footage into your bin and drag it onto the editing timeline. First thing, let's quickly adjust the position to get the framing that we want. The effect we are going to use is this new rounded crop effect in Premiere Pro. Go ahead and click on apply. Now move over to the effect controls panel and let's start making some adjustments and keyframing. Go ahead and set the following parameters left 2%, right 69%, bottom 43%. These parameters are going to remain fixed throughout the process. What we will be changing a lot to get the results we want will be the offset and scale values. So go to the offset and let's put our first keyframe on the Y axis. This keyframe will be where we want this first part of the clip reveal to end. Now we back up to the beginning and set another offset keyframe on the Y axis. This will be where we want the reveal to start from. This keyframes will create the first reveal on the left side. Let's go ahead and apply an ease in and ease out transition on the keyframes. We want the reveal to start fast and slow down as it nears the end. So drag the keyframe handles on this one all the way to the right and drag this one to the left. With this, we are done with the first part. We are literally going to repeat the same process on duplicate of this clip for the remaining two. So let's duplicate this first clip and remove the previous keyframes we made on it. And now let's adjust the offset values to reveal the next crop that we want on the right side. Once this is done, let's go ahead and start keyframing this also. First, we keyframe where we want this second reveal to end and also keyframe the start. Ease in and out the keyframes. Adjust to start fast and slow down at end and we are done with the second reveal. Let's duplicate this clip again and do the final reveal. As before, let's remove previous keyframes on it and adjust the offset values to reveal the final crop of the clip. Now proceed to put the end and beginning keyframes. Easy ease in and easy ease out the keyframes. Adjust the handles and the final crop reveal is done. It is now time to reveal the entire clip and we are going to do that on the third clip. So with the third clip selected, let's go to the scale value on the rounded crop effect we are working with. We will keyframe the present scale value, move it to 9 frames forward and then reduce the value with another keyframe. This is to create anticipation for the reveal. Now move about 9 frames forward and then change the scale value to 180. This reveals the entire clip. We are almost done. Done. One last thing, and this is the zoom out. To create the zoom out effect, we would have to duplicate the clip one more time, and we have to use the last clip we just worked on. So go ahead and duplicate the third clip. This becomes the fourth clip. Before we proceed, we need to change some values so that we don't run into any glitches. We will keep the crop scale at 180, but let's change the left, right, and bottom values to zero. Also, let's make the roundness zero and make sure there are no keyframes left on this clip. Now let's go to the effects panel and add the transform effect. Open the transform tab, toggle off use compositions shutter angle, set the shutter angle to 360, allow 2 to 4 frames from the end of effect on the previous clip to add the first transform keyframe. Keyframe the current scale and position values. Move 8 frames forward and change the scale value to 50. Once this is done, you will notice the position needs to be adjusted for the top. So change the position of the Y axis to 865. This will make up for the position value we adjusted on the first clip in the beginning. And there you have it. With the use of the offset parameter in Premiere Pro, you can achieve different interesting results. It all really depends on what you are trying to achieve. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe like and drop a comment let me know if this video helped you and what else you would like to know i will see you in the next video peace